Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Today we're reading a fabulous book. Today's story is called Gratitude is My Superpower, written by Alicia Ortega. Now this wonderful book is about a sweet little girl who learned the importance of giving thanks. Now let's see what happens. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Betsy and this is Mr. T. I am only seven, but he is 70. Now you wouldn't know to look at him. He never seems to age. He slowly moves around the house and doesn't have a cage. One day, when I was playing with him, I suddenly, I felt quite sad. What's the matter? Mom said, you're usually so glad. It's Mr. T, I said to her. I think there's something wrong. To carry that big house all day, he has to be so strong. Do you think it will stop him from having fun like me? I've never seen him run or jump as happy as can be. Oh, my dear, you mustn't worry. Mr. T is fine. You see, turtles have different needs in life. They are not like yours or mine. The nature of a turtle is harmless, quiet, and shy. And they love to hide inside their shells when people pass them by. So Mr. T is very grateful for everything that he has got, which means he doesn't worry about things that he has not. Come on, let's play a game together, Mom said. I call it gratitude, and it would help you understand, Mr. T. Are you in the mood? So mom takes me to the garden and just behind the flowers, picking up a stone, she says, this has superpowers. Now every time you're upset when things don't go as planned, you take out your gratitude stone and hold it in your hand and the stone will work its magic and soon you begin to see that everything that's happening is how it is meant to be. No sooner had we gone inside, the sky began to rain and tears began to fill my eyes. I wanted to go out again. Remembering my special stone, I squeezed it with all my might. What could I be grateful for when rain was in my sight? But just then, I remembered without it, plants won't grow and fish wouldn't live in the sea and rivers wouldn't flow. Thank you, Sky, for raining. You're really rather clever. Now I know the job you do. You can rain whenever. And next morning, when it's time to wake, my body's filled with dread. Going to school is the last thing I want. I'd rather stay home 
instead. Beneath my pillow is my stone, and I squeeze it once again, remembering the friends that I'd see and my teacher, Mrs. Blaine. Now at school, I had forgotten. Today was sibling day. I don't have any siblings, so I didn't know what to say. My stone will have the answer. I thought, I'll squeeze it and we'll see. Of course, I said. <laughs> grateful because I have Mr. T. Now at dinner time, it worked again when mom put down my plate. No yummy cake, but rice and veg, which I didn't appreciate. But then I remember the children who weren't as lucky as me to have a healthy warm meal cooked by their mommy and at bedtime when I'm not tired and I just want to play instead I am grateful for my total PJs and warm and cozy bed but just then I remember I'm not even carrying the stone mom I shout, I did gratitude, and I did it on my own. Of course you did, my darling, because gratitude is in there. <laughs> Upon my heart, she places her hand, and with the other, she strokes my hair. So gratitude is in all of us, I asked. And all we have to do is stop and think how thankful we are instead of feeling blue. So next day during playtime, there is a new boy there with shiny braces on his teeth and curly light brown hair. Now tears were falling down his face. He wished he had not moved. A decision made by his parents and he had not approved. So I tell him of the gratitude stone and I ask if we can find something to be grateful for that he can bear in mind. And so he holds the stone and thinks for a minute and then a smile across his face. I'm thankful for our new home. The garden has so much space. Now every time I go out, I make sure to have with me at least one stone to pass on along with my story. You see boys and girls, the more we share about gratitude, the happier we will be. It's always great to be grateful for everything we have. The end. What a wonderful, wonderful story. Thank you for joining us again, boys and girls, for this wonderful story time. We thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.